All right, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. All right, okay. All right, all right, all right, okay. All right, okay. All right, all right, all right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, not some 15, 20 minutes ago, WrestleMania 37 ended. And you know why you're here. We have to ask ourselves, well, what just happened? So, let's just get into it. The show opens up with Vince McMahon and the roster on the main stage, thanking Aaron, thanking the fans, so on and so forth for coming. We then open up with a brand new remix theme of the then, now, forever. Solid, solid. I don't hate it. BB Rexa sang the national anthem, my baby BB. And then we had a weather delay. Uh, might be a lot worse tomorrow, but the show was about 30 minutes to start and while this was going on we had a few just you know backstage seg- segments interviews they were you know on the fly drew and um, bobby almost got into it but once the weather cleared up we got our first match so uh hogan and titus opened up the show to welcome everybody and then we got our first match which was the wwe championship bobby lashley the champion with mvp defending against drew mcintyre so this one was hard-hitting physical and it told an excellent, excellent story. Um, there was some, it, there was some slow, you know, pieces, paces at times. But overall, it started to pick up. There, so in more and more, and I enjoyed it. This one about eighteen minutes. So. Near the end of the match, Drew is kind of in control, right? And he's going to hit the Claymore. While he's doing the countdown, MVP yells out Bobby's name. And Drew gets distracted. Now, MVP was calling out Bobby's name to let Bobby know that the Claymore was coming, right? But... uh, (laughs) The finish was dumb. As 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 Drew missed the Claymore, Bobby locked in the hurt lock, and it was right. I didn't see that coming of Bobby Lashley retaining. The ending was really, really, really stupid. But it doesn't overtly ruin the quality of the match. So not going to be upset about that. Then we had our tag team turmoil as we had five teams in the in the women's division with the winner facing the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions tomorrow night. So we started off with Lana and Naomi versus Carmella and Billy Kay. And they 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 did some things and I was really I earlier I had picked Carmella and Billy to win it all. But seeing as that they started first, alright, it ain't happening. Um, Lana still needs work in the ring, but she's clearly got has she's clearly gotten better and has worked on things. She rose up. Billy, one, two, three. Gets a super kick. I'm sorry. Carmella and Billy win. Then we get uh, the next scene, which is the Riot Squad. And they got a little bit more time. Ruby and Liv were dressed like uh, Harley and the Joker, respectively. And they did very, very well. Um, I kind of, it looked like Carmella and Billy were going to run the table, but Ruby and Liv, remember, are really the only real team that they've been teaming since they pretty much got caught up to the main roster. And 
they pulled this one move was like a double knee splash but they win so now we have the riot sky versus mandy and dana and we're going in it's okay it's it's growing and the riot squad wins again so that's two that's two w's and finally they have to face natalia and tamina and long story short natalia and tamina dominated they hit the heart attack natalia was going to tap out um ruby but she's like nah hit that splash tamina Natalia and Tamina win. So they will be facing Naya and Shayna Baszler tomorrow. This was just kind of a way to get the women on the card. I wish it had more oomph to it. Our third match of the evening Seth freaking Rollins versus Cesaro. And boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. All I said was, I want these dudes to get time so they can just go out and just wrestle a great match. And that's exactly what they did. There is... There's a lot to go over. First things first, when Seth, Seth hits that super um, that superplex to Falcon Arrow combo, that should win matches. That should be a finisher. That should take people out. But it but it doesn't all right but other than that these guys were just so good seth did a 360 splash as in once he's jumping up the top rope he he twirls his body into a splash and it was beautiful it was (sighs) at another point seth tried to go for the curb stomp and Cesaro just countered that into an uppercut. I'm just like, my, my. During this match, Seth was working over, uh, working over Cesaro's arm as to stop the clover leaf, not the clover leaf, stop the, the, the giant swing from being swell, swung. And he had, Seth had many, many, many counters to the mat, to, the, to it. But in the end, it wasn't enough as first. First he hits, first he by, by I mean, um, I mean, Cesaro. First he uppercutted him, and he uppercut him again. Then he hit him with an airplane spin, but since he does it with no arms, he calls it the UFO. Then he hits the giant swing again, 23 total rotations, and then it's neutralizer, and that was a wrap. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal match. Cesaro was super over with the crowd and he just he earned this Seth really has become the new Mr. Wrestlemania as he's just having greatness this match was great next up the Raw Tag Team Champions as the New Day were taking on AJ Styles and Omos Biggie introduced his boys but didn't follow them to the ring, which was cool. Uh, AJ and Almas made their way to the ring. And if you paid attention to the New Day, they were dressed up as Gogeta. Let me let me just let me just make sure it was Gogeta. It was a fusion. It was either Gogeta. Yeah, it was Go. It was Gogeta. Or was it Vegito? It was a fusion and I don't know which one, but it was a, it was definitely a, a Dragon Ball fusion. Uh This was this was this was a solid This was a solid match. Um they worked over they worked over AJ a lot, trying to keep almost out of the ring. They built it up and they built it up and they built it up and then almost finally got in the ring. He was a monster. And he did the work. 
and it was a wrap. One, two, three, AJ Styles and Omos are your new Raw Tag Team Champions. It was cool. It was cool. We then got a work in progress uh, video of WWE 2K22. Fingers crossed they get this one right. <sighs> then the match I dreaded, the steel cage match between Shane McMahon and Braun Strowman. The angle has been awful. The promos has been awful. <sighs> Braun won. You knew he was going to win. Uh, he did this one spot where Shane is on the other side of the cage. He's climbing down. He stops, puts his hand in to taunt Braun. I'm like, nigga, what? Why would you do that? You fucking stupid son of a bitch Braun climbs the cage and rips the cage so and mind you before the match started Elias and Jackson Riker jumped Braun she was in control Braun won we're time to move on had a, an appearance by Bailey uh, why she wasn't wrestling on the show I don't fucking know Next up, Miz and Morrison versus Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. We got the Hey Hey Hop Hop. They played to the that played to the ring as Miz and Morrison uh, were rapping along. But as for the match itself, it was good. It went 50 minutes, and celebrity matches at WrestleMania rarely suck. And I'm happy to say, this one didn't suck. Bad Bunny looked good. In this match, he did. You can see that he's been training, that he cares. He looked believable, and the crowd ate it up. He hit some moves. He hit, you know, um, hit. He hit a, uh, a couple cross bodies because every celebrity learns how to do a cross body. Uh, double leg takedown, some fists, some suplexes. It's good. He looked. He looked great. He even hit a fucking Canadian destroyer on the outside of the ring. In the end, him and Bad Bunny won. And the funny thing is, I <laughs> listen, I thought the Miz was gonna win. He hit a score crusher finale and whew, boy. It was it was fun. Um Bad Bunny looked really, really good. I mean he's still green, but he's got a knack for for this the spots were well executed the crowd ate this up and the crowd really really um help elevate this match it was solid and then we got our main event with history being made as this was, sasha banks was defending her smackdown women's championship against bianca Belair. this was the first time two women had a singles one-on-one -on -one match that main event at WrestleMania, and this first time that two black women have main event at WrestleMania. Now, mind you, uh, two years ago, Ronda and Becky should have been the first two women to main event WrestleMania, but you know, Vince going to Vince, and Charlotte was thrown into the match. Also, Charlotte was not missed. As for this match itself, it did the show justice and was worthy of main eventing the show <sighs> boy um, you could feel it both, both women oozed confidence and intelligence and strength <sighs> they had counters for their counters they clearly studied up on each other Bianca used her strength and her speed, whereas Sasha used her intelligence and her um, her just overall skill. <sighs> There's so many great spots to go over. Sasha, Sasha just found all of these counters for Bianca, and Bianca was using that impressive athleticism, hitting 450. The first one got countered. Um, and hitting splashes. He's just wondering where 
she caught Sasha and she was bench pressing her while walking up the steps and then threw her into the into the ring. Um, there was another crazy spot where Sasha wrapped Bianca's ponytail around her arms to use it as a submission. I was like, oh my god, this is oh boy. Like these women really did the damn thing. In the end, Bianca Bianca um, hit the KOD and won. I picked Sasha to win just because Sasha had Sasha Banks does not have a win at WrestleMania. Sasha Banks, this is her uh, triple threat, fatal four way tag team titles. This is Sasha's fourth match at WrestleMania. Zero wins. So, I would have been fine with either woman winning. And overall, this was was a fantastic match. This, this, This almost, almost was the match of the night, but I'm going to give that to Seth and Cesaro. The crowd ate it up. The crowd loved both of these women. And... Sasha brought out that old boss tonight and Bianca brought out that EST of NXT I can't wait I can't wait for this this feud is going to continue because Sasha is clearly the heel and and she's coming she's coming she's going to come for Bianca Overall, this was a this was a really really good WrestleMania. The 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 weather delay kind of hurt us a little bit, but once it got going, it got going. It didn't feel long. Um, if there was no weather weather delay, the show would have been over at eleven o'clock. Now imagine sitting through six hours. Keep the two nights of Mania. Oh my God! Keep the two nights of Mania. It works. It works. Let me go give you my ratings for the matches. Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley. I'm going to give that a 3.5 out of 5. The tag team turmoil match. I'm going to give that a 3 out of 5. Seth Rollins versus Cesaro. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. AJ Styles and Owens versus The New Day. I'm going to give that a 2.5 out of 5. Shane versus Braun. I'm also going to give that a 2.5 out of 5. Bad Bunny versus the Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus The Miz and John Morrison. I'm going to give that a 3.5 out of 5. And Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. So tonight's overall rating for WrestleMania Night 1 7 out of 5. The ending to the Bobby Lashley match was. Woof, that was rough. The women's tag team title match, tag team match was a little rough as well, and nobody cared about Braun versus Shane. But it wasn't marred by the two matches, the 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 the, the Bad Bunny match, Seth and Cesaro, and the and Sasha and Bianca helped carry the show. They made this a good WrestleMania on a night one. But that's our show. Come back tomorrow as we will be looking at WrestleMania 37, night two. And like I said before, I think night two has the better card. I'm hoping Oscar wins, but I'm your boy, Jeremy Pierce. This has been What Just Happened, WrestleMania 37. Peace.